No, let's discuss basic law of natural numbers. But before that, let us know what natural numbers are. So, natural numbers are part of the number system, which includes all the po positive integers from 1 to infinity. And they are also used for counting purposes. So, natural numbers, um, they don't include zero. Oh, just write it as zero. Okay, and natural numbers are part of real numbers. So, we count from one, two, and so on until infinity. So, natural numbers, they don't include negative numbers or zero. So, we can um, represent natural numbers by n. Okay. An. So, and then natural numbers include all the whole numbers. Okay. Whole numbers. Excluding the number zero. So, in other words, all natural numbers. All natural numbers. Are whole numbers but all whole numbers are not natural numbers so we can write this a Okay, natural numbers is the set from 1, 2, 3, and so on to positive infinity. But for whole numbers from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So on the number line, um, our natural numbers is from one to here so natural numbers and then our whole numbers Okay, so there are properties of natural numbers. We have the closure property, commutative property, associative property, and distributive property. So, okay, so we let A, B, and C be any number. So the first one is the law of closure for addition. So, we can represent this as A plus A plus B. So, okay. And then for the second one is commutative law of addition. So, we can write this as A plus B equals B plus A. And then the next one is associative law for addition. So if we have A plus B plus C, we can write this as A plus B plus C. Okay. And then the next one is the law of closure for multiplication. So we can write this as A times B. And then commutative law for multiplication will be A times B equals B times A. 
Then the next one is the associative law for multiplication. Let's say we have A times B, C is just equal to A, B times C. And then we have the distributive law. So let's say we're given A times B plus C that will be equal to A, B plus A, C. Okay. Then let's discuss the basic laws of equality. So we have here um, the reflexive property, the symmetric property, um, transitive property, addition property, and so on. So for re reflexive property, we can represent this as A, we can write A equals A. And then for symmetric uh, property of equality, if, say, if A equals B, then B equals A. Okay, the next one is the transitive um, property of equality. So, say, if a equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. That is, things equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Okay, the next one is the addition property of equality. If A equals B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. Okay, then we have the subtraction property of equality. Say if A equals B, then A minus C equals B minus C. Uh, we have the division property of um, equality. So if A equals B and C is not equal to zero, then A over C is equal to B over C. Um, I forgot the multiplication we have here. Tan multiplication. Property. Say if A equals B, then A times C is equal to B times C. So that is the multiplication property of equality. And then the next one is the substitution property of equality. If A equals B and B may be substituted for A, okay, for A in any expression of A. And the next one is if A equals B and C equals D, then A plus C equals B plus D. So that is if equals are added to equals, this one, okay. If equals are added to equals, the results are equal. And then the next one, the last one, is if A equals B and C equals D, then, then AC is equal to BD. That is, if equals are multiplied to equals, the results are equal.